Hi, my name is Tony. Welcome to the crystal shop. Well, it's a metaphysical store. Um, this is the crystal aisle, so we kind of just call it the crystal shop. If you have any questions anytime, let me know. I'll be here. Oh, okay. You need help. All right, great. What can I help you with today? You want some for sale crystals? Well, you've come to the right place. I happen to have the clearance section here. Now, these are for sale because, well, <laughs> kids come in here all the time and they knock it over and they break stones off the shelf. Yeah, so some of them are chipped and damaged and some of them just have minimal value and the rest just have a hard time selling either because they have minimal properties or people are just finding them to be not that appealing to the eye or just overall their energy just doesn't give off an impressive vibe to the majority of people. So, um, Most people don't want to buy those things, so yeah, clearance. These are anywhere between 50 and 70% off. Okay, so um, you want me to just run over all of them? Okay, sure. Yeah, I could just show you. Now, I'm new here. Um, I'm still being trained by my hiring manager, uh, so I won't know all of the crystals properties, and I, I won't even bother going into detail. I'm just trying to really, I guess, get you to buy these. <laughs> so, um, the first one on our clearance aisle is, um, this selenite tower, and although it's gorgeous, it is actually chipped. Yeah, someone knocked it, and it's actually cracked on the bottom as well, so. Yeah, people don't want that, I guess, but, um, in all honesty, it's a steal. Also, um, I believe it had a previous owner, and you can see these little variations here. Uh, they mistakenly put this in either too much sunlight or I think salt water and then erodes and damages over time So, you know, especially salt and sun, you do have to be careful because that can not only erode you <laughs> but of course the stone as well and not all of these stones are intended for use in water Not all of these stones are intended for use in intense sunlight or, you know, salt water, so do keep that in mind. Yes. Um, and the selenite, well, <laughs> it's starting to shed right now. As you can see, as soon as I touch it, it's uh, shedding. Um, anyway, so uh, this is quite a sensitive, fragile crystal selenite, so you do have to be careful. It's not a clear quartz, that's for sure. All right. <laughs> so, uh, but they do have great properties. So you can see it shines so brilliantly in the light, doesn't it? Um, yes, it will draw anyone in, but you can hold it and it has such incredible energy. And it's a tower, so it actually will stand up right on your tabletop or desk or anywhere else. Just don't knock it over. And just do marvelous things for your energy. It clears out negativity. Channels that divine universal light energy. And allows you to Yeah, it's beautifully made and structured. It's like a tower. Like you have like this chunk here and then it gets smaller up until this little point here. And that's actually how they create selenite wands is you see this point right here, how it's carved. So it's like they somehow, it's like extracting this from this. Like they just cut away at these pieces to make it like a thin um, shell. And basically it's composed of a multitude of basically layers and layers of these slim pieces of selenite and it's beautiful how it's formed together. It truly is magnificent, but this is obviously polished out uh, at the end to make a stable base, but um, this goes for $10, okay? So I honestly think for all this selenite, I mean, this is like what? <laughs> the size of like five wands in one, it's a steal. gone forever, you know, if it's 
especially if a crystal pulls you in energetically and you feel magnetized to it and you feel drawn to it, I would take it. Yeah, no regrets, right? <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll, I'm kind of just starting off like the larger ones and going to the smaller pieces. So I won't spend too much time. Um, I have other things to do. I have to organize other stuff on the shelves. Uh, I still haven't gone to the Sage Isle. Oops, my manager is going to fire me today <laughs> if I don't get it done. So I hope you understand. Uh, but this is in a, not a citrine, a calcite. Yes, it's like a, I wouldn't say an orange calcite, just like a plain old calcite, really. I mean, there's blue calcite, there's all sorts of calcite, right? So this also is very much broken, so this is only $8. Be careful because it's quite sharp on this end. Yes. Ouch. Um, this is just a nice centerpiece on a tabletop. Um, it's also, most commenters say, not the most attractive stone. I kind of agree, but you know what? It's all about the energy, so if it pulls you in, it's not about how it looks. You don't um, marry a person for their looks. You marry them because they melted your heart, right? So, um... Oh, that's a funny joke. <laughs> don't tell anyone that joke. They might take offense. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yes, but this calcite is great. Um, I don't know much about calcite. I don't really connect with it very well, but I thought that looked actually quite pretty in my opinion, but I do like ugly things after all, so. <laughs> all right, this is um, Labradorite stone, and it's a great palm stone, although quite heavy. Honestly, <laughs> some people come in here like business CEOs. They don't even know what crystals do, really. They think it's something nice for their mansion, so they think this is a paperweight. I can't help but laugh, but yeah. Yeah, we get all walks of life, no judgment there, but I guess if you want to use it as paperweight, then go ahead, honey. But, um, I don't know if paper is meant to be charged, <laughs> but this is great for intellect, all right, which maybe some more people need to use. See, I got jokes too, all right now, all right, two can play that game. <laughs> what do you think? I know it's so pretty the way it shines, look at that. It's like fish scales. Okay, maybe I'm not using my intellect very much to describe this, but you know what, nonetheless. It's gorgeous. What do you think? Yeah, this goes for 15 and I don't know why it's not selling. I guess people are not using their... Okay, jokes aside. The next one is a peridot with basalt matrix. So this green part, if you can see it, is the peridot and the basal matrix is this dark part all around and it actually um, stands upright like this okay so again it's a nice tabletop piece it actually looks like a shoe <laughs> all right so yeah mm -hmm. and some of the green variations are found in other parts of the stone yes it's very pretty i know it, it's very fragile though it's even more fragile than selenite this is actually probably stone I have ever held in my life um, but for that reason it doesn't sell because people move all the time they move stuff around while they're cleaning and you know the risk is incredible uh, for dropping such a piece like this um, it's quite unfortunate because it really is a, a beauty and it actually is great for attracting money so any green stone really is um, abundance of prosperity so I would highly recommend so special and precious. I love that. It's one of my favorites. This next one is Angel Aqua or Quartz. One of my favorites. Oh, I know, right? Oh, that would actually look gorgeous. It's like a brooch or a pendant that Hunger Games style, right? I don't even know what Hunger Games is. I just heard that this is gonna look like Hunger whatever. Anyway, um, but look at those colors. Oh my and basically, it's just plain old clear quartz, but they use... 
use a tool that lights this on fire with a color so it creates this and it casts its own energy so um, it doesn't actually come from the earth like this it doesn't actually look like this right mm -hmm. right but it, it's uh, crafted in a special way like if you actually burn clear quartz with a lighter it will get like foggy and you can wipe it with your finger nothing happens it doesn't stick so they have to use a special color tool to do this and create it in this way where it doesn't remove itself but it's pretty nonetheless great for contacting your higher ups crown chakra third eye connection okay so uh, any crystal that's blue or lighter in color like purples whites clears are all higher up okay higher up energies anything from green and downwards like Feldspar, this one just plain old doesn't sell because of its plain old white chalk look. I personally love this. Um, I really do connect with it frequently, in fact. <sighs> you know, people don't give Feldspar enough cred. It's still shiny. Yeah, it's sort of a mix of uh, selenite and... You know, it kind of has that like chalk look, really. It's just very plain and chalky. Um, but this goes for five dollars. Oh, the Angel Aquora Quartz also goes for five dollars. Yes. Um, why are the angels not selling? Bad luck. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> This is Smoky Quartz again. Any quartz is plain old quartz. They just torch it up into a different color. So, um, how do you tell authenticity? Well, we have a reader over there with that little magnifying telescope thing that can tell you the variations and the style and the index and all that stuff that I don't understand. He can tell a diamond from a false one he can tell ruby from garnet he can tell if you're telling a lie or not i don't know how he does it but he has like a tool that's like a lie detector test for crystals in general okay and sometimes there's even a way to test it where you just drop it and if it breaks it's real or not depending on the stone a certain light shined through it will determine it a certain magnifying telescope a certain way you just like shine it at the sunlight will be able to differentiate even the feeling and the texture and the material um so you go to him okay joshua is his name he's right over there the curly hair kind of good looking don't tell him i said that okay or maybe you can i don't know i can't tell if he's into it. anyway so let's move on <laughs> all right let's not um stray from the subject but this is uh, great for grounding okay it's a really great grounding stone and helps i believe with your anxiety as well and removing negative feelings overall okay it's a very great stone to connect with this is a uh, rainbow fluorite and this is actually correct all right the correct stone and yes a difference from authentic and it has a uh, six point here hexagonal shape and it actually stands up as a tower on its own um, great energy from this one my goodness great vibes great connectivity um, this goes for twelve dollars okay yeah yeah well, i remember the prices because there's not much there's only like four crystals left and then i can get out of your hair and uh, organize the sage aisle because i believe oh is someone stealing oh hey uh, do, mm, hey kid i see you uh, do, you better put that back uh, i'm gonna call your mama you think just because it's a phys metaphysical store that i'm gonna go easy on you sorry about that all right honey so let's continue they think that a 
spiritual people are ignorant and they think we're nice. Actually, you don't want to get on a witch's bad side, okay? I am not a witch, but I'm just saying, like, I met witches before, girl. You don't want to get on the bad side, okay? When they pull out that black salt, okay, now. Anyway, so this is angelite, and if you put water over it, It's a very fragile stone, and again, think like the ones that are higher up. These fragile-ish stones, blues, light pastel -like pink colors. Think twice before putting them in intense heat, okay? <laughs> or cold, that can also crack them. I would say the safest bet for charging your stones, rice. Dig in the soil or moonlight. Moonlight is very... Fragile. It's not going to damage your stone. Um, that is one blue side here, and the white powdery and brown, and somewhat blue. See the variations come through on the other side. But this angel light stone is great for connecting with your angels. It's just got angel light. Think angel light, like light. Angel light. Angel light. Angel light. Angel light. Uh, beautiful stone. Although this one, sad to say, someone. So it lost its um, touch, so to speak. So but it's still pretty nonetheless. But that goes for five dollars because it lost its uh, properties permanently because someone decided to charge it with water without doing research first. So now it's a plain old rock. I don't know why I'm not obnoxious. I'm sorry. Maybe the energy of the crystals are making me very, very much um, quirky. This is celestine, or celestite. Some people call it celestite, some people call it celestine. I don't care, you call it whatever you want. You name it Jimmy Joe, Jop, Jop, Pop, Billy Bob, Pop, Boy. You can name it whatever you want, okay, I don't care. But it's cut up from a gray or boring looking stone. All right, look what's inside, so it's very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty, very pretty. This is very strange. I don't know what it does, but it has a lot of different properties. And when you connect with it on a deeper level and meditate with it, it just makes you feel weird, at least for me, because um, it has so many different effects. And it's uh, quite a smooth stone if you actually run your fingernail along each one of these. They're very smooth, so milky as well. This goes for $12. It's incredibly precious. There's no way to describe some of these stones. They're so out there. There's no dictionary in the world that can describe what they do for people. This is um, a angel. Phantom or a quartz. Now this is an exception. You notice on the inside that it actually has a different variation. It's not just painted over the surface. The inside is actually different. It's altered, so this actually does come like this. All right, a grounding stone as well, um, and another mysterious, strange crystal that only you can define what it means for you. And the final stone is clear quartz point, and this is how, again, just to see the difference, how an actual is supposed to look like. This doesn't quite have the best point, so I think that's why people don't. It's not a great sell, but most clear quartz points have like one rough end like this, and another that's carved on purpose with a point, or it just comes like that, okay, from the earth. Um, no, I'm just kidding, it never does. I mean, <laughs> is the earth really going to create it this perfectly? I don't think so, but Regardless, um, yeah, they use those special machines to slice it into different shapes and styles to make it unique and uh, It actually does something though when you shape it that way the energy points in one direction um, And you can make 